Hi and welcome to Kita's Creation. So today I'm going to be making a herbal detangler for my daughter's hair. It's wash day, so um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I make that. It's really quick, really easy, so let's get started. So I have this pot to begin with. You know, this is what I'm gonna um, make my tea in just for the sake of time, you know me. <laughs> I wanna do everything really, really quick. So I recommend investing in one of these little electric teapots because they make life so much easier. And to get started with this mixture for the detangler, what we're gonna do is, well, I don't wanna call it a detangler, but in essence it is like a moisturizer detangling spray. Um, and it does aid in hair growth as well. So in this combination, what I'm gonna be using is just a spoonful of hibiscus. I have about two cups of water in my teapot. Then I'm gonna be using fenugreek. I'm sure you guys know all about hibiscus and fenugreek, the benefits of both um, aiding in hair growth. So I'm using about a spoonful of both. But what I'm gonna do different is uh, the herb that helps. I know you guys have probably been hearing about this too because it's kind of trending right now, this Ambunu. So this is a tea as well that helps with, it's an herb that helps with, um, well, it, you know, gives hair, uh, it gives hair, like it helps with dry scalp and it makes hair like thicker and shinier and you know, all that, and what, what I noticed when I used it on my daughter's hair the last time, it has this natural, like, slip to it, you know, so it helps kind of with detangling, too. So it has all these um, properties um, that kind of goes along with the other ingredients for hair growth. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. So I'm gonna say maybe a spoonful of that as well. And that's it for the tea. So I'm gonna get this tea going. Give me a second. I'm just gonna get that started. It'll just be a few minutes for that to go. So what I'm gonna do meanwhile is measure out the other ingredients that I'm gonna add to this. And of course, I'm gonna end up diluting this a little bit too. Um, so what I'm going to add in addition to it is we know about MSM as well. MSM helps with um, hair growth as well. This MSM powder, um, it keeps your hair in the growth process longer. So I'm going to add this to it as well as some provitamin B5, this panthenol, which is like, you know, it helps to soften hair. And um, it helps, you know, your, your hair stay um, moisturized, which keeps it, you know, stronger. Um, so I'm going to use some of that. And also, this is this is another kind of like humectant that adds moisture to uh, hair products, this uh, propendyl. So I'm going to add a little bit of this too, to this mixture that I'm making, as well as some aloe vera gel now you don't have to add all this stuff to yours but because I am going to be using this kind of every day in my daughter's hair um, and I'm trying to get her hair to grow a little bit quicker because I cut her hair at one point I was cutting her hair every maybe like three to four months so, you know, she at one point didn't want any hair on her head, so we were cutting it all off. Like, she literally would have maybe two to three inches of hair. So, right now, we're in that phase of trying to get it to grow back. So, this is what I'm doing to, you know, help her hair grow back a little bit faster. Because you know how it is in that in-between phase. It's really hard to manage because, you, you know, it's hard to gather ponytails. It's hard to, you know, gather braids. You know, really everything for the most part so i'm just trying to get it to grow a little bit faster so that we can do more styles to it and with that being said our tea is now ready so let me see what we got 
So I'm gonna pour some of this out in here. And as you can see, it has this really pretty like pink color. And with this, um, the Am Ambunu tea, what I notice is that the longer, see it's not really thickened right now. I'm just gonna pour this back in here just for a few seconds. I do wanna mention that. So I noticed with that particular tea, the longer you let it sit, um, the thicker it gets. So I'm gonna let it sit in the leaves just for a few more seconds. Meanwhile, I can just add the other ingredients in here while we're at it. So what, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna do a little bit of aloe. I'm just gonna do maybe a capful of aloe vera. And I'm going to add some glycerin and if glycerin doesn't work for your hair type you know by all means leave it out but with her hair um, glycerin works pretty good so I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of um, glycerin to this mixture I'm gonna dump that in there and sit this over here then I'm gonna add um, as I said, with the uh, panthenol, I'm gonna add some of this panthenol to it. So I'm just gonna add about a fourth teaspoon of this panthenol powder. I'm add that in there. And I'm going to add, with the propendial, I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of this, I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of that, and I am going to add the MSM powder. So, with this MSM powder, I'm adding about a teaspoon of MSM. So, hang on a second, about a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna dump that in there. I'm just gonna mix this mixture up and it still has some leaves in there from the tea, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna fish the, the bigger leaf out because I don't want that to clog up my spray tube. So I'm just mixing that in and then we're gonna check on our tea. Let me see. Yeah, so this looks a whole lot better since I let it sit. So just keep that in mind, you wanna let that um, tea sit just for a few seconds before you pour it and as a matter of fact hold on I think I'm going to add just a little more water because I want to dilute it a little bit and I know this tea is going to come out really really hot so keeping that in mind so this is about a cup of water and then I'm going to put about a cup of this tea in here as well so Pour about a cup of the tea. And if you need to strain this, feel free to do that as well. Um, so because I have that cooler water in there, it shouldn't be too hot, but it's, it's warm enough still to melt the powders that we have in there. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, this should have lots of, um, you know, moisturizing effects to it. And basically all that I'm going to do now is just add this to my spray bottle. And that's pretty much it. I don't see my funnel, so probably not going to do this right here and now. But you guys kind of get the idea. You just add it to whatever bottle you want to use, you know. Um, to spray it into your hair. Um, I recommend refrigerating this unless you're going to add a preservative to it. And, um, you know, the preservative will obviously make it last a little bit longer. So I'm going to show you guys um, how her hair looks with this mixture in it once I'm done combing it. I can't do it right now, but um, maybe in another video. Uh, but I hope this works for you guys. Um, Again, I've tried the 
um, Ambunu tea as just a detangler and that works great it works for my daughter she has really thick curly hair so that works great we know um, that hibiscus has a lot of um, really good benefits for um, hair with hair growth as well as the um, as well as the fenugreek seeds um, so adding those three teas together with the benefit of this MSM powder which is trending we hear a lot about that um, you know helping to you know add uh, faster hair growth to your hair um, and then obviously the moisturizing benefits of this propendile and this panthenol and some vegetable glycerin you know it just really takes everything to another level as far as this being a really really uh, beneficial detangler um, so if you have like really thick curly hair I think that this would be awesome it probably um, work for hair that's not thick and curly as well if you you know I don't know how glycerin works for every hair type so if you don't have the, that kind of hair that um, is you know glycerin benefits then I would just suggest leaving this out but everything else you know like these two as I said before the panthenol and the provendile will still add that um, moisture to it without um, giving it that kind of um, um, effect that glycerin you know glycerin draws water in so it kind of makes your hair more puffy I guess is the best way to explain it so again, if you want to leave that out, by all means, be my guest, leave it out. But like I said, I hope this works for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, thank you for watching.